The moment I start to talk about domestic violence in my South Asian community, I become a pariah because the South Asians are a model minority community. You know, we are doctors, lawyers, engineers, you know, we are professors. We don't have these kinds of issues. You know, we are smart, we're brilliant, and we are in Palo Alto and we are Silicon Valley, you know. So I knew what would happen to me if I raised the voice, but they said, no, there is nobody else. You need to take this on. And so I brought a group of women and we decided that, yes, we should do this. And uh, then we decided to talk to every South Asian organization that has hosts these public events, you know, dance and Independence Day and New Year's Day, they have all these different events. And we thought we will have a little table and talk, you know, put little brochures about what we offer, a service for battered mothers. And every one of those are actually, most of the time, at least until then when I was there, were led by men. They were the lead you know, the CEOs or chairs of these nonprofit organizations. And when we approached them, they'd say, oh, Suda, so sorry, our agenda is full. We can't, you know, we'll come back next month. We'll talk to you. Or, oh, no, all the tables have been taken. You know, we don't have room for you to put that in there. So sorry. But next year, we will definitely do that. So then I decided, you know, I'm not going to let them stop me. So we took our brochure and I made it into little business size cards and went into the women's bathroom when we had the organization events and put them in the women's bathroom because the men couldn't come there. Mm -hmm. So women would take, and then the phone never stopped ringing. And we essentially, that's how we got started to do the work. Then the mayor's office got involved with us. And then there was the Violence Against Women Stop Grant that came in. They said, we will fund you to get the work started. Mm -hmm. And we partnered with mainstream agencies. And that's how we started to do And so the this work. problem exists. was there, there in yes. that community as it is in every community. Exactly. Yes. It's only when we have resources to help them that the numbers become visible and we can talk about it. Same thing with the NFL, coming back to the NFL. It's only when it became public that we know that the problem exists, right? Oh,